back on Essential RC and uh, another Warbird, all in the box Warbird, uh, meaning you get everything that you need in the box. Uh, you get the transmitter, you need to put four double A's in this uh, and you get the aeroplane, you get your flight battery and you get a USB lead to charge it from your laptop or a plug. Um, you also get a spare propeller and some tools and all the screws you need to put it together and it is very easy and very quick to put together. You um, put the tailplane together uh, two screws underneath, underneath uh, put, in the put in the tail wheel, hook up, uh, snap the clevises onto the horns, uh, attach the wing, there are two leads for the ailerons that go into the circuit board, just plug those in and uh, put the propeller on the front and then you are good to go. With this, as uh, again it uh, has a gyro assist and a beginner mode and a 3D mode that supports tricks that you can activate from the transmitter. So uh, a, a rolling and, and looping from a button that you press on here. So really it suits you know, any, any level of expertise with a radio control model, flying all the way from a novice beginner all the way up to an expert pilot who might have a lot of experience. Um, so let's not hang around let's get it in the air and let's see how it flies oh and uh, actually i should say that this is the, the funny thing about this is i was not aware of this scale aircraft it is a nakajima ki-84 now it's got the i would assume from the from the symbology on the wing that it's japanese uh, 16th scale but i wasn't aware of this this is one of the good things about flying scale models is some you learn a lot about the full-size aircraft and that they actually existed when you get models like this it's quite it's bigger than your normal micro warbird which i think it's nice it's 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 nearly a, a heart 50 percent bigger than i'd say than the normal uh, micro warbirds that we've been reviewing recently but the 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 box seems to be about the same size so I don't know how they do that I think by uh, the fact that you have to assemble the uh, the tail and they very cleverly packed it inside this little box so a really nice decent size okay so let's put the battery in and turn on the transmitter and get in in the air uh, so I'm assuming like with all these models you actually plug in the battery into the model first you heard it beep yeah, There's only one position that the battery can go in, so it's fairly easy. And then the canopy is held on at the back by a magnet. Just make sure, uh, need to tuck the leads away. And then that fits. Uh, and then turn on the transmitter. Yeah, so you need to go, turn on the transmitter, go up and down on the throttle and then it will arm the speed controller that's what you heard beeping just make sure that on the model at the back on the this stick when you do that that the stick goes the aileron goes up that way and that the elevator goes up when you pull back on the stick and the rudder goes the right way as well well good all righty let's uh and I put the wheels on. Sometimes I don't like putting the wheels on because I think it makes it look a bit doesn't doesn't look so pretty in the sky with its with its wheels dangling down. But I don't think this one looks bad actually. So I've left them on, and it, we're going to try taking off grass, which I think is a good thing to demonstrate anyway. Okay, ready, Trevor? Yeah. So in this mode, yeah. Whoa. No. Ah, I wonder if the wheels are too small. Come on. You can do it. Come on. No, it's not going to do it, is it? So, <laughs> going to have to go for a hand launch. Where's the wind? Actually, the wind is this way. Here. Yeah. You didn't tell me I was taking off down wind trip. I thought you was an expert. I, I no, thought, no, I no, thought no. there must be a no, technical no, no. reason. Let's clear everything up. Uh, I'm not an expert. I'm an average hobbyist. And that's why I like demonstrating to my fellow average hobbyists out there. I'm certainly not an expert. Despite being in this hobby for 30 years. 
I think it's very dangerous to claim to be an expert. Oh, good grief. Right, okay, handle. Okay. I think on a very flat, firm grass, it would, uh, it would take off. Right, so the wind is that way. Here we go. Ready? Yep. 